In the name of Allah, the kind, the caring, all praises are for Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And peace be upon the seal of the prophets and the messenger Muhammad, upon his family and companions and their successors. Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. Under the guidance of His Eminence, Shaykh Ghulam Rabali, the founder of Fizan Islam, Ramadan Kareem and good evening. I would like to welcome you and thank you all for accepting our invitation and joining us for Fizan Islam's annual Ramadan Iftar 2018. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. First of all, I would like to thank all of you, each one of you, coming to this uh, beautiful gathering. And this gathering is beautified because of your presence. So you, the gathering is very beautiful, but you are the one who made it beautiful. This diversity, uh, working together, standing shoulder to shoulder, and in this multicultural society, sending a message to the community and society that we all are British, we all are part of this country, we will live together, we will die together, though our faith, our culture, our rituals we might have for our own practices, but as far as the country is concerned, we all are British in this country. And secondly, it is a great opportunity for us from my team to introduce Islam and some Islamic rituals like fasting in the month of Ramadan. The purpose of fasting, the whole month of fasting of Ramadan and the main purpose which is mentioned and classified, one quote is from Quran and one is from the Prophet, peace be upon him. The Quran says, Kutiba alikum siyam, kama kutiba ala ladina min qablikum da'allakum tattakum. The main purpose of your fasting is not just dieting, the main purpose of fasting is piety. And the word piety is covered various attitudes in our life. The more you have piety, the more you will be good to your neighbors. We have a different, some people have a different understanding of piety. The piety concerns only to you. A piety means you are in matter of your drinking, your eating, your living, your style. No. The piety is a very wide meaning word. It means the pious person is all the time the one who is recognized by others through his character, through his behavior, through dealing with the neighbors, with friends, with colleagues. And this is the exact definition which is given by the Prophet that the, the person might be very good in worship and very well known in act of worship but is not behaving nicely with neighbors, with friends so this person will never be regarded pious. Our concept of piety is a standard how you live in society with others and how much you are beneficial to others and the more you are beneficial to others the more you will attain the status of attain the status of piety with your worship, with your connection with your Lord and connection with your Lord. And the second purpose of the month of Ramadan, which is in detail explained by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is a long hadith of Prophet. Hadith regarded the saying of the Prophet and where he mentioned uh, various the duties of a Muslim in the month of Ramadan and he said, وَهُوَ شَهْرُ sabr this is the month of patience. The month of Ramadan is to learn about patience, is to show your patience, 
it should reflect through your character. And the second thing he said, Vagba Shahul Mabasa, the month of Ramadan is a month of self -pity. How? The month of self -pity. So you can understand that the month of Ramadan, the way is prescribed by the Prophet, is not only refraining yourself from eating and drinking, is just um, at the same time, the sympathy means you have to feed the hunger of other people through your fasting. You have to feed the thirst of other people through your fasting. You have to feed the need of other people. You have everything at your home and everything is available, but for sake of God, for some religious duty, as just some religious duty, you are not eating, drinking. But it's not only piety, it's not the Ramadan. You think I haven't uh, eaten since dawn, from dawn till sunset. No, the Ramadan and your fasting should tell you the people, those who don't have food in their homes, around the clock, how they will feel. Well, good evening. My name is Jeremy Fern, and I'm the Deputy Lieutenant for the London Borough of Waltham Forest. That means I represent the Lord Lieutenant of Greater London, and the Lord Lieutenant represents the Queen, the Sovereign, the Crown. And I have a lovely post. It's not a job, it's, it's a position. And basically it is doing what we can to hold the community together under the Crown, to say thank you to the tens of thousands of unsung heroes in our community, to encourage voluntary effort, and to encourage people to live together constructively and harmoniously. And can I say please, Eid Mubarak to everybody who hears this. It's been a great pleasure to be here at this Iftar meal and to celebrate with my Muslim friends and friends of so many other faiths and communities. It's been a marvellous evening. My name is Melanobo Dr. Miolo. I'm from London, Fogon San Temple. I'm the Buddhist one. And I'm very happy to attend the Ramadan. This event is very special because I find lots of a community, different community people come to here and they enjoy about the Ramadan. Hello, my name is John Bowers and I'm the standard bearer for the Barking Side Branch of the Royal British Legion. Uh, we've been invited here this evening to join in with this multi faith meal and my wife and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been an absolutely superb evening and it's good to see the communities coming together in the way in which they are doing so. It can only be good for everybody if we all learn to communicate with one another and to enjoy each other's diverse um, I'm Chris Nixon, I'm the Safe Neighbourhoods Inspector for Wolfram Forest Borough. Um, tonight's event was a fantastic opportunity for people, for people from all different communities, different faiths and backgrounds to come together, enjoy a meal and build a strong community for Wolfram Forest. I was really grateful to be invited to the event and having been through it now, I'm, I'm honoured to have come. Uh, I think that these events are a great way of building stronger communities in Wolfram forest and I'd love to see them continue. I'd like to wish a happy Eid to all of the, uh, the worshippers at the mosque here and to everyone in Wolfram Forest. Um, happy Eid.